Today's sponsor is Morgan & Morgan Firm. With over 800 lawyers in 49 states, and the best part is, if you don't get paid, they don't get paid. So whether you're hurt in a car, or at home, or even at work, Morgan & Morgan is going to fight for you. They're gonna fly lawyers in jets and have a meeting about how good they are and how big they're getting. So if your arm's in a sling, you're one free phone call away from their customer care operators. Morgan & Morgan, a law firm for the people. Over the last 15 years, I've handled the medical aspect of hundreds of personal injury cases. And trust me, it matters who your lawyer is. If you've been injured, you may be entitled to compensation. And Morgan & Morgan is completely free if they don't win your case. Over 3 million people have already trusted Morgan & Morgan, and it's easy to get started. You can check out the link below for more information. Do you experience back pain often? Um, sometimes. Mostly, I guess, driving from a far distance and stuff. As for neck, it depends if I'm like, if I sleep awkwardly. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, how often do you think that you have the back pain from driving? Um, I would say maybe once a week. Do you ever get any pain that goes down your arms, any numbness or tingling in your fingertips? The only time would be if I like sleep on it, I guess, or like okay. something really, yeah. Um, okay, very good. Does your back pain ever go into like your hips or the back of your legs? Um, I would say if I'm sitting like a, for too long, I guess it would be in my hips area and okay. legs, yeah. Okay, very good. All right, um, okay, do you ever get any numbness or tingling in your feet when you're having that hip and back tightness pain? Yeah, I would say. I would get it on my feet too, yeah. Okay, very good. One more than the other, left or right? Um, I would say right. I use my right. Have you ever been to a chiropractor before? No. no. Sorry. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I'm excited. Okay, very yeah. good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we'll go nice and slow. I'll explain everything that I'm doing while I'm doing it. We'll go through a bunch of exam procedures. Um, and then when we get to the adjustment, we'll practice one first so you kind of know what it feels like. And then uh, and we'll go nice and slow. And if you have any questions at any time, let me know. Okay. Okay, looking at the feet first, I don't see any pronation or supination. And heel strike, mid stance, and toe off, normal and symmetrical. Okay, looking from the back, the feet still look symmetrical. I don't see any valgus or varum on the lower extremity, that's good. Shoulders high on the left with a little bit of a head tilt to the, to the right. So that upper thoracic is all leaning towards the right. Good. And it looks like a possible higher left hip. Hard to tell. See the hip swing on the way back. Good. Hip, hip swing is accentuated to the right. Not as much to the left. It's good. Yeah, you can kind of even see it the way your shirt is off a little bit. Like your shirt's off. So you like tilt it. Okay, you stop right there. All right. <laughs> Uh, my, uh, no, let your, let your foot down, leave it down. Uh, arch is mildly decreased, bilaterally, but normal. And uh, no valgus of the toe here, no bowing, no bunions of the toe. Turn around and face the other way. Good. And then no arching of the Achilles tendon as well. Go ahead and turn around and face this way again. All right, put your hands on your hips. But I'm going to replace your hands with my fingers, so move your hands now. Hip is higher on the left. Okay, just observing the spine first. We're gonna look at the height of the scapula. Good, squeeze your shoulder blades back just a little bit. Good, okay, now relax. Good, we do have a high left shoulder. I'm gonna put my fingertips on the top of your hips. High left shoulder, high left hip. That was the same as the... Okay, not much of a postural change here. This is good, you don't have like that humping here. There's just a little bit of a flattening of your thoracic curve right here. There's a, just some posture stuff here that we're all working on all the time. Just normal stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. This is a temperature evaluation of the back of the hands. The back of the hands are more sensitive to temperature changes. Mm. 
nice and even good tone all the way down your spine symmetrical left to right right here just seems to be the only place that you're right are you right-handed yeah you're right right scapular muscles here and the right spinal muscles are a little bit more tense than the muscles on the left like does this feel like this over here yeah it feels different you feel different <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. a little more tense over here yeah okay i'm gonna push a little deeper into the spine Definitely have some work to do up here in the upper thoracic. This is, there's a lot of stagnation here. Like I can feel where it's like bunched up. The muscles are tense. The spine is kind of bunched up right here. Good, right here in the thoracic lumbar transition. Is the most tension. Got a little bit of a spasm there. Left or right, which is more tender? Left. Okay, I'm going to pop the SI joints here. I'm going to lower your waist bench a little bit, okay? Okay, any tenderness here? Yeah, Right side tenderness here. Lower left SI tenderness here. Yeah. Right side lower tenderness here. Not too much. Left SI joint tenderness in the upper and lower, so we'll push into this joint a little bit more when you're laying down. Good. Any discomfort tension here? No. Any discomfort tension here? Yeah, there is a little restriction here compared to this one. This one moves a little bit more easily. L4. Good, L3 is a little better. L4, we're looking at L4 and the left SI joint. Got some tension in the lower scapula, T7 here through the trenches, and T7 through T12. And there's just a slight flattening here in the thoracic curve. A little bit of congestion up here in the upper thoracic spine. Levator scapula is even on both sides, slightly tender on the left. Rhomboid muscles are okay, but down here at this T7, this rhomboid whew, attachment starts to get a little bit gnarly. Little tension in there. So you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? We're gonna slide up to the glute folds here, lower on the right side, minimally, looking from the top, feet are even. Looking from the top, the left glute is coming out like this. So the left glute comes out like this. It's a little bit turned in this direction. And then possibly like this too. We'll have to see when you're laying down. Okay, let your head relax. Good, no rib humping here, no curvatures of your spine. Go ahead and stand up. Good, I'm just looking for very micro, very small movements in the posture while you're standing. A little bit of front to back sway. Good, not much to the right or left. Mostly front to back. That's good. Kind of wants to dive off to that right side again. I can feel your body holding it though. And you feel yourself, do you favor one foot more than the other? Are you leaning into one foot more than the other? Yeah. Which side? All right. Okay, nice gentle breathing. Try to let this relax as much as possible. That's good. Okay, the right leg is shorter than the left. That confirms what we saw on the glute standing test. I'm going to bend your knees. Try not to help. Just let it all go. Right short crosses over becomes the long leg. Okay, any tenderness, discomfort when I push here, right SI joint? Do you have any tenderness or discomfort when I push in the right SI? A little bit. Okay, left SI. Yeah. Here. S4, here, S2. Which one's more tender? 
of that one. Okay, that's two. Yeah. We're at the top of the side joint. Tenderness, discomfort here. Try let your back relax. L5. Any tenderness, discomfort there? Nope. L4. Tenderness, discomfort here? Nope. Good. L3. Tenderness, discomfort here? Nope. It's very tight. Try to let your hips relax as much as you can. There you go. That's relaxed. Now, now how does that feel that you're not guarded? Still, let your hips relax. Good. How does that feel right there? Tender discomfort? Feels good? Feel good. Let your shoulders relax. Good. You're doing good. Just testing each segment of the spine. Good. Let your shoulders relax. There you go. This is where the tension is. Locks underneath your hips. Just try to let your hips relax. Let me do the work here. Good right hip. All right, now, nice and gentle. Let your shoulders relax. Just gonna do a little soft tissue. Tender? Mm -hmm. A little. sink into the table. Shoulders relax. Good, nice, gentle breathing.
Good, okay, shoulders relax, sinking in. We're gonna push super gentle, okay? Let's practice one first. So you're gonna take a deep breath in and out. I'm gonna follow your breath out like this at the end of your breath as we're gonna push like that, okay? We're just gonna push a little bit further this time. Good, we're gonna start with this easy one right here in the middle. Good, let's see, can you let your back relax a little bit more? You got any more in there? Good, you're holding on just a little bit. Good, nice gentle breathing. As you breathe out, just feel your whole body just letting go. Here, push your shoulders up against me here. Push them back, good, push, push, good, now relax. Good, that's better. Okay, nice and gentle. Let's give it a try, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, deep breath in and out. Good, following the breath with the shoulders down. Gentle, gentle. Oh my God. Okay, see if you can let your shoulders relax a little bit more. There you go, that's good. Good, let's come back down to this one here. Okay, now the middle. Good, lay your back down just a little bit more. Good, and then take a deep breath in. Good, let it all out and let your back sink in with that. Tiny, <laughs> the tiniest little spine cracks. Okay, nice and gentle. Just let your head come over to the side a little bit. Good. Now let your shoulder relax here. Good. We're just going to push it in this direction a little bit like that, okay? Good. Let your head relax. Good. Let your shoulders relax. Good. Let it all go. Damn. Wow, that one was good. Big release there. That's... Okay, this one's a little bit different. This time we push at the top of the breath, so you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then at the top of the breath, as you start to breathe out, that's when we'll push. Good, so let's try that. Good, breathe, let it out. Good, let your shoulders down. Good, another breath in. Good, let your shoulders down as you breathe out. Good, one more time, same thing, in breath, and let it all go. Deep. <laughs> Okay, now this part of your back is flat, so we're gonna flip over to do that adjustment. Okay, deep breath in and out. Breathe out. Go let your back relax onto my hand. Good. Pretty good, right? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so this is how we adjust the low back, okay? Yeah. We're gonna bend the top leg like this, good. Bottom leg stays straight. I'm gonna scoot you forward here just a little bit to the end and pull the shoulder out just a little bit like that. Yep, okay, nice and gentle breathing. Same thing, we need your shoulders to relax. I'm gonna press your shoulders up in this direction like that. We're gonna bring your hip down like this. Then we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Go let your shoulders sink and let your hips sink. We're gonna bring the hip down like this. Good, deep breath in. And breathe out. Let your shoulder go, let it all go. Let the hips and shoulders go, good. Good, go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Go let the shoulders relax. We're gonna bring the hip down. Good, a little bit further. Go shoulders, let this go here, good. But just gentle breathing in through your nose. And out. Good. Good. Right short again. That's good. It's consistent. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Good. Now turn your head to the left. Center. Good. Right upper circle. Let the hips relax here. Good. Now bring your right ear down to your shoulder. My right ear. Uh -huh. Good. Back to center. Left ear, center.
Get ready to have your neck back. Yep. Okay, nice and gentle, just like the other adjustments. We don't have to push hard. We're just following your breath. And then the key, you're doing really good, actually. The key is to just, like, completely let go and let your head drop into the table as I move your neck. I'm going to do other work. You don't have to help me. All you have to do is breathe. We're going to come in and attach that atlas right here. Good. We're going to adjust right like this. I'm going to push in that direction as you breathe out, okay? Okay, nice, gentle breathing in through your nose. Gently, gently, gently out. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good. Sinking in. Very gentle. How's that? It was good. Yeah, that was good. We almost got all of it. There's two more left in there, though. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> yeah, there, sh there should be three cracks. There was two cracks there. One was your atlas laterality. The other one was my index finger. But there's two more in the atlas. Good. We're going to just go through the joint this time. Nice and gentle. Let the shoulders relax and let the head just wobble here. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Whew. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> hey, you're doing great. Wobble, wobble, wobble here. Just kind of sink in. Let your head drop into the table. Let your neck and shoulders, hips, whole body sinking, letting it all go. Go try to let your head go. You're holding on a little bit here. Wobble. Let it go. Wobble. Good. Good. Let it go. Sure. Good. That was a good one. Okay, this is how we adjust the ankle. Just like this, relax as much as you can. We're gonna pull down in this direction like that, okay? Yep. It's right there. Good. Let the foot go. There you go. That's it right there. Let that go. Nice, gentle. So breathe into your belly here, like do a belly breath. Good. Again, into your belly and out. Again. Again. Tender in there? Yeah. <laughs>
all the way down? Yep, up to here. Seriously? Yep, up to here. <laughs> Let's see, go ahead and stand up, take it for a test drive, see how it feels. It's good. Good, how's it feel? Good. Refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here it is. I guess I feel more elastic. <laughs> Got the hips relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Okay, I'm going to reach around the front and hold on to your elbow like this. Go ahead, let your shoulders relax. Go ahead, let this go. Go ahead, let this go here, holding on to your elbow. Perfect. Good. Let your head come up straight. Good. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Okay, nice gentle breathing in through your nose. Go lay your shoulders down as you breathe out. Right there, let that go. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good, sinking in. Back sink in with that. Good. Hold.
whole body sinking, letting it all go. Okay, let it go. Very gentle. That's just gentle breathing in through your nose. Uh, let it all go. Let the hips and shoulders go. Good. 